Hey everyone, welcome back to the 25 boxes of Christmas series and this is day five. Let's see what box number we're gonna be doing for day five. Let's go get box 16. Aha! Found it. It was hiding back there. All right, let's go. Box 16. All right, let's put the subscription over here. Box 16 giveaway going over here. All right, let's see which subscription we have for day five, box 16. Ah, it's a good one. This is Once Upon a Book Club book box subscription. This is another one that I receive every single month and I love it. It's one of my favorite book box subscriptions. It's different than Unplugged Book Box. I know we just had that one two days ago. It's actually kind of good that we are getting the two that have been featured in my series every year out of the way. So that way the rest of the boxes will be mostly new. There still will be a couple that I've done on my channel before. If you've never heard of Once Upon a Book Club, it is an amazing book box subscription. It's $49.99 a month. That does include shipping. Each box, you'll be given a newly released book. They offer an adult fiction subscription and a young adult fiction subscription. And I think they're also coming out with a middle grade box, which is very exciting. I put my name on the list for that one. The only other book box subscription I know that does middle grade is Owlcrate. So I am really excited to see that one. This book box has been the most successful book box as far as getting me to actually read books again, which was the whole point of me signing up for Once Upon a Book Club to begin with. And all of the book boxes that I got, I got them so that I would be more encouraged to read. And this one has been the most successful, which is probably why I love it so much. There are a lot of great book boxes out there. I love a lot of them, but this one I have a little special connection with. And here's why. When you get a Once Upon a Book Club subscription, you will get a newly released book. Mine is the adult fiction box. I pulled it out before I wrapped it because I was hoping that I'd be able to read it and do this unboxing correctly. I did not realize it was gonna get pulled, like the number would get drawn so quickly into the 25 box of Christmas. So unfortunately, I have not had a chance to read it. But with the subscription, you'll get a book and then you'll get all of these goodies, these gifts that are marked with pages. You'll also get a book club kit. This one only has three gifts. I think you get anywhere between three and five. Most of the time you will get four, but if you get three, they should be three amazing gifts. What's great about this description is that they encourage you to read to the corresponding page before you open up the gift. That is how it has been the most successful for me. The experience doing it that way is absolutely amazing. You can check it out up there. Really see the difference between someone unboxing it who has not read the book and someone unboxing it who has read the book. I've done it both ways. I definitely prefer to read the book. It gives you a better connection to the items. It gets you more excited for the items and then continuing on to read the book. This month's book, Mad Honey, it's by Jodi Picoult and Jennifer Finney Boylan. I loved the last Jodi Picoult book I read. I hope I'm saying her name right. Once Upon a Book Club used one of her books and it was The Book of Two Ways. Love that book. I actually just recently did a review of it because it was so great. I loved her writing and the way that she wrote the book, so I cannot wait to read this one. I was really excited when I saw who the author was. Let's go ahead and read some details about this book. That'll help you guys make more of a connection to the items as well. A soul-stirring novel about what we choose to keep from our past and what we choose to leave behind. From the number one New York Times bestselling author of Wish You Were Here and the bestselling author of She's Not There, Olivia McAfee 
knows what it feels like to start over. Her picture-perfect life, living in Boston, married to a brilliant cardiothoracic surgeon, raising their beautiful son, Asher, was upended when her husband revealed a darker side. She never imagined that she would end up back in her sleepy New Hampshire hometown, living in the house she grew up in and taking over her father's beekeeping business. Lily Campanello is familiar with do-overs too. When she and her mom relocate to Adams, New Hampshire for her final year of high school, they both hope it will be a fresh start. And for just a short while, these new beginnings are exactly what Olivia and Lily need. Their paths cross when Asher falls for the new girl in school and Lily can't help but fall for him too. With Ash, she feels happy for the first time, yet she wonders if she can trust him completely. Then one day, Olivia receives a phone call. Lily is dead and Asher is being questioned by the police. Olivia is adamant that her son is innocent, but she would be lying if she didn't acknowledge the flashes of his father's temper in Ash. And as the case against him unfolds, she realizes he's hidden more than he shared with her. Mad Honey is a riveting novel of suspense, an unforgettable love story, and a moving and powerful exploration of the secrets we keep and the risks we take in order to become ourselves. That book sounds fantastic. I cannot wait to read it. It almost sounds like a mystery thriller type novel as well. This is gonna be a great one. I'm already convinced because one, I know the author, just from one of her books, I was impressed. I would love to read more of them, so I'm glad I got sent another one. It does look like it's going to be a very long book, though. We're talking over 400 pages. <gasps> There's recipes in the back of it. That is so awesome. That is another thing that I can do on a Sunday Funday video. Wow, lots of honey type recipes, which is absolutely perfect for this book. Whoa. Looks like 432 pages. Cool. All right, let's start with the book club kit. <gasps> There's even a recipe on the back of the book club kit. Wow. Beekeepers granola. Amazing. Love it when the recipes flow. I was just talking to a friend of mine up at work who suggested I go and get some local honey to help with my allergies. I know if I take like a teaspoon a day, it's supposed to really help. It is pricey, like $12 for the jar but I think it'll be worth it. And I've done it before, but it's been a while. You will have a bookmark. This one says, I'm going to live my life with power and fierceness and with love. And on the back of it, it will remind you not to open any of the gifts until you have read to that page. Unfortunately, I can't do that this time because I'm gonna be doing this unboxing for you today. And the quote print has the same exact one. Love seeing the beehive in the background, very on point with themes. And this has a letter from the author on the back. This book club kit will also include an interview with the authors. Look at that, it has both of them. Discussion questions after you've read the book. And then they do a live unboxing of the gifts on their social media pages. Maybe they didn't do an interview. Maybe it was just literally a photograph of their text conversations about how this book box got started, I guess. Before I get started with looking at this information, I'm gonna go ahead and do the giveaway details for you all. So let's cut to that scene. So, time for today's giveaway. It's in a Once Upon a Book Club box. It's not a Once Upon a Book Club box. This is just what I had to store the items in. I did go through and try to find book items or bookish items that have come to me in book boxes before. That's what I've been trying to do with the book box giveaways. It is just a random assortment of bookish goodies that doesn't all work together, sorry. This is a book sleeve. It is one of the first ones I've ever received. It says, no mourners, no funeral. I believe it is a very popular book, especially with young adult readers. And I know I may have several of you who know exactly what this is. This one has a button and you can slip the book in there. Of course, you don't have to use it for a book. You can just put some papers in there. I do like that this one closes at the top so that you can keep it nice and secure all the way around. The next item is this notepad. It says, I don't sugarcoat blank. Oops, I forgot I had a curse word. I'm not Willy Wonka. This obviously came out of a smart ass and sass box. It is very sassy. Actually, it's only a little sassy, but I've got 
notebooks are plentiful, so it is something that you'll see reoccurring in a lot of my giveaways because I just can't use them all. This item actually did come from a Once Upon a Book Club box before, and it is the air pressure wine opener set. It has the full instructions in here, and everything is still inside the set, nice and neat. It has never been used. The next item I'm gonna be gifting is a scarf. This may be the only item that did not come out of a book box, but it might have a while back. I forgot what box it came out of. I think it came out of one that's no longer available, one that went out of business. That happens a lot. Now this one actually does include a book. This is Among the Beasts and Briars, and I included this book because I have a duplicate of it. I've received it twice, and I wanted to share one. So let me read a little bit about this book. If you want to enter this giveaway, you know what this book is about. It says, Circe is safe in the kingdom of Aloria. Here there are no droughts, disease, or famine, and peace is everlasting. It has been this way for hundreds of years and since the last king made a bargain with the lady who ruled the forest that borders the kingdom. But as Aloria prospered, the woods grew dark, cursed, and forbidden. Circe knows all too well when she was young, she barely escaped as the woods killed her friends and her mother. Now Circe carries a small bit of that curse, the magic in her blood as a reminder of the day she lost everything. As a new queen is crowned, however, things long hidden in the woods descend on the kingdom itself. Circe is forced on the run. Her only companions, a small and irritating fox, from a royal garden and the magic in her veins. It's up to her to find the legendary Lady of the Wilds and beg for a way to save her home. But the road is darker and more dangerous than she knows, and as the secrets from the past are uncovered, amid the teeth and roots of the forest, it's going to take everything she has just to survive. Sounds like a good read. Hopefully you like it, whoever gets this one. The next item is... Witch's Brew. This is a really cool item that I got and I think it has great value, but I'm not a huge tea drinker. And this is like a gorgeous tea set. Almost feels like it's made out of clay. This thing is seriously gonna be awesome for someone who will be able to use this and appreciate it. So I really hope it goes to a good home. And the last thing in here is a cutting board with a map on it. I do not know what this is a map of. I can't remember. Kingdom of Atlantia, I, Kingdom of Solace. It sounds so familiar. Casadonia, whatever it is, I'm drawing a blank. And if you don't like this part, you can just use the backside, which has nothing. It's just a good old standard cutting board. There you have it, the seven items that are for this day's giveaway. This is day five. Box 16, I totally forgot to go over the giveaway information rules for this day. You need to be 18 years or older. You can go ahead and live anywhere for this one. You do need to make sure you live in a country that accepts shipments from the United States. You need to be publicly subscribed to my channel and you need to use the code word READ. You can use it in any way in a sentence or you can just simply tell me when's the last time you read a book or how often do you read. Those are cool things that I would like to know because I know I have a lot of book lovers that follow me. YouTube and Once Upon a Book Club are not affiliated with this giveaway. All the details will be in the description box below. The giveaway starts today, ends January 5th, and I will announce winners on January 8th. Back to the unboxing. All right, I hope you guys are excited about this giveaway. Let's continue looking at what we are going to get in this unboxing. Page 162 is the first one that we're gonna be looking at. I realize that he is not looking down at his wrist like I am. He's staring at the drawing he did of Lily when he was in jail and now in a frame on his stand. That's the thing about looking at these gifts beforehand is you don't really know what's going on in the story and I can't give you any backstory. But based on that text evidence, I'm gonna say this is a picture frame. Ooh, and it is. And it does have a drawing, I guess, of what Lily would look like inside the picture frame. Of course, you can take that part out and you can just enjoy the picture frame itself. Seems to be decent quality. Picture frames aren't too terribly expensive. It does have a part where you can hang it up and if you wanna put it on a 
shelf, you can do that too. Picture frames are good. They're usable for all different kinds of things and that's what I liked about Once Upon a Book Club is you usually get a lot of usable type items. Let's keep going. The next one is all the way at page 391. So that's like well into the story. Oh, wow, yeah, I opened right to it, that's crazy. It's because he is like me. In spite of everything that has happened to me, I still believe in love, and so does Asher. Even more remarkable, that may not be a flaw, but a strength. Asher reaches for the bowl of ice cream and holds it out to me. Okay, don't know what's going on there. It says a bowl of ice cream, but this actually feels really soft, so there's no way that this could be a bowl. Let's find out. Oh, it's a bowl cozy. That makes sense. This has two different feelings. One side feels more microfibery and the other side is more smooth. I'm not sure which one is for which, but it says the bowl cozy is perfect for keeping your hands warm while eating ice cream. Wrap up your frozen desserts in this bowl cozy and enjoy all your favorite treats without having to worry about cold fingers. That's awesome. I've actually seen some of these made where you can put them in the microwave so that it helps you be able to grab the bowl and keep from burning yourself. These are not that. It says do not microwave. Whatever material it was made for this, it obviously is not microwavable. I love the bees on it too, and it's a nice blue color. All right, and I like that we got two, so it's a set and it's not just one. And this is just a picture where it says Asher reaches for a bowl of ice cream and then they just showed a bowl. The type of ice cream they thought that Asher would be eating. All right, the last one is on page 432, which I think is at the very last page of the book. So I will try not to give any spoilers at all and only read the line right before it. I was also gonna check because sometimes they put hidden stickers in here that you find as you're reading that don't necessarily go with a gift and they could go with a Spotify playlist or something else. Usually that happens, or I'll discover it later, but maybe not this time, because I am not seeing anything. I just wanted to check to be sure. <laughs> okay, literally the last line is where they put the sticky. It will keep until she's ready. I have no idea what that means, and I don't know what it is that will keep. And then it starts the recipe pages after this. And I don't want to read much more than that because I don't want to be spoiled. Of course, if you were doing this unboxing properly, you wouldn't have to worry about being spoiled because you would have already read to this page. Let's see what it is. What is she going to be keeping until she's ready? Oh, that's really cool. It's a honey jar. Sweet as honey, it will keep until she is ready. This is beautiful. Oh, it pops open like this and it even has the little honey thing right here. I wonder if we can put actual honey in here. That sounds amazing. It is a little bit distressed on the front, like part of the black part seems to be rubbing off. I don't know if that was intentional or if it just didn't seal properly whenever they put it on there. It just looks a little bit messy, but maybe they intended it for that. But this is cool. I love the design of this glass jar. Like seriously, that's amazing. Definitely my favorite gift that came out of this book box so far. Now, out of all the gifts we received, we did just get some more, I would say cheaper type items. I have seen them come out with some really extraordinarily gifts before. Um, this one is a little bit lacking to me, especially with the $49.99 price tag, but I don't know how much this costs. Like, that's really cool. It seems to be really great quality other than the print on the front rubbing off a little bit. I wish we had another gift to go with it. I think that's about all I can say on this one. Let me know your thoughts of this month's Once Upon a Book Club unboxing down below. Which item was your favorite and are you just as excited to read this book as I am? Are you a fan of Jodi Picoult? Hope I said that right. Please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll be back tomorrow with day six of the 25 boxes of Christmas. Bye everyone.